driving into Gaza with the Israeli forces. It's a war zone. The conditions of our access only show officers, no faces of soldiers, and don't show sensitive equipment. We are passing mile after mile of destruction. Buildings blown, collapsed, nothing untouched by the fury of Israel's hunt for Hamas. Streets here crushed back to sand. Shops, everything that we see, no sign of any civilians here. And the soldiers have been telling us that even inside the stores, they've been finding things like rocket propelled grenades ready to use against them as they were advancing through this area. A few miles in, we pull up at a command post. Soldiers living in blown apartment buildings. Every building I'm looking at here, wherever you turn, it's destroyed, it's shot up. Hard to imagine how civilians endured the bombardment here. Our next journey, much deeper into Gaza. We arrive 100 meters from a battle with Hamas. Tanks blasting targets in nearby buildings. The IDF's top spokesperson waiting for us. We're now, we're now conducting an operation inside Gaza next to DC hospital. Israel is facing massive international pressure over the destruction of homes, the shockingly high civilian death toll, and in the last few days over its apparently heavy-handed tactics at hospitals. We are searching the tunnels with the bulldozers to reveal the tunnels that we suspect that are underneath the hospital. Hagari has brought us here to show the connection he says exists between Hamas and the Rentisi Children's Hospital. We're now here in an area between a hospital, a school and a terrorist house. A Hamas commander, he says, lived there. He points out the solar panels on the roof. This is a tunnel that was lighted, like this, the floor. You can see here. This is the ladder going you down. See the yeah. ladder going down. I see yeah. the ladder going down. Okay, yeah. this is a 20 meter tunnel. And look at here. Look at the look at the look at the panel. Be careful yeah. here. But look down here. The, the cables are going down to the tunnel. Okay? So they're hardwired for, for, into for the what tunnel. I wanted to show you, the solar panels on the terrace house provide electricity directly to the tunnel. We've Should entered we've entered a robot inside the tunnel, and the robot saw a massive door, a door that is on the direction of the hospital. We're in what is an active fire zone here. You can hear the small arms fire. The IDF say they're still clearing this area out. We're getting down here. Yeah, just taking good. a bit of cover because they said we're still taking fire. But over here, we were able to okay. smell what smelled like rotting That's flesh, so cool. bodies perhaps yeah. buried underneath the rubble. No, no, no don't no. go up high. No. Don't expose yourself. As we move off to the hospital, a hundred meters away, we're still taking fire. We're still conducting an operation. Operation conducted by a special unit, the Israeli Navy SEALs are researching the hospital. Hagari later tells us he took a big risk bringing us into such a combat zone. It is clear he wants this story told. We're searching here to see the connection of the tunnel to the hospital, okay? Don't, don't fall here. We're so this searching. is where the connection... We are looking for the connection. As we finally reach the hospital, it is already getting dark. A huge hole has been blasted through the walls into the basement. Why is the hospital so damaged? We'll talk, why is the hospital so, so damaged? damaged like this? I'll yeah. explain, it's yeah. an important yeah. question. Yeah, it is. We came to this hospital five days ago. There were still patients inside the hospital. We did not enter into the hospital. He claims since then, all patients were evacuated by hospital staff. We assist this evacuation, of course, to make it a safe pass for all the patients in the hospital. We do not know that the hospital is entirely clean. We do not know. We only entered to this area which was, which was suspected because we we're being fired. Hagari leads us through a warren of basement corridors to this room. This was the armory, okay? This was the Hamas armory. Yeah. 
he shows us a few rusting guns and some explosives. These guns alone have potentially huge implications for Gaza's hospitals and Israel's apparent push to take control of them. The International Committee for the Red Cross say that hospitals are given special protection under international humanitarian law in a time of war. But if militants store weapons there or use them as a base of fire, then that protection falls away. In other rooms, he shows us a motorbike with a bullet hole in it that he suspects was used by Hamas attackers October 7th. And nearby, possible evidence hostages could have been held here. We are now in the basement in the same area, yards from the motorcycle. We see her a chair, we see her a rope. We see her a woman's clothes or a woman's something covering woman. Do you think this, a woman was tied up in this chair? This is an assumption going to be checked by DNA. More evidence, Hagari says, points towards Hamas and possible hostage presence below the hospital. By bringing us here to this hospital and showing us the connection that you believe exists between the terrorists and the possibly hostages, what does this say about the other hospitals here in Gaza? Cynically, Shifa Hospital is known by facts, by intelligence, to be a terrorist hub. And also, it's suspicious also in holding hostages. This is the best shelter for the terror war machine of Hamas. But the hospital authorities said they have no knowledge of Hamas or other groups inside the hospitals. Is that possible? I think it's not possible for an hospital to have this kind of an infrastructure. We knew the terrorists were here. We How knew. did you know? We knew. By intelligence and also we got some fire from this area. From this area or this building? From this area and, and we were right to fire because what we found an armory. But so much damage all around here. Yeah, there is damage all around here because Hamas made it impossible for us to fight him. He built all this infrastructure in tunnels and in hospitals around areas populated. As we exit the hospital, it is already dark. We're just getting ready to leave right now. The firefight still going on, still intense. Bullets fired, explosions going on up the street there. This war and the controversies surrounding it far from resolved. Nick Robertson, CNN, Gaza.